it's not uncommon for most rally car prep to be done the night before you leave to go to a rally. A lot of that has to do with just the fact that you know, we work a full-time job and we can't just drop everything and start working on a rally car. Unfortunately for this, we didn't really get a whole lot of testing beforehand. Um, we're supposed to be loading up to leave, but Calvin drove the car down the road and back, which is our test drive after doing all this work. And there was a burning rubber smell coming from the car. And then also it died at the stop sign up there and didn't want to start again, which seems kind of like a weird fuel thing. It's, it's pretty close, but I mean, I, I don't think so. Once it goes through travel, it's not going to hit. Put on the trailer and went with it. We got a really cool opportunity to get to go talk to some um, elementary school children. And so us and another team took our rally cars and they brought the students out to talk. Going through tech was pretty uneventful. It really doesn't take very long, we're used to it. We've got all our stuff ready to go, all the ducks are in a row. So usually tech's pretty quick in and out. For this rally, it's a little bit different. It's what's called a tulip rally. You're not doing reconnaissance, you're not making any notes. With a tulip rally, you're driving mostly by sight. Uh, we're at Eminence City Park, we're down here for Park Expose. We got some pretty good competition today. Open two-wheel drive actually turned out to be a pretty competitive class. Uh, what we thought was going to be a sure thing for finishing on a podium has now turned into, we got about three faster cars ahead of us. We've got Michael Hooper in the Lexus, which there's no chance anybody's catching him. He took first place last year. And we got a couple of Volkswagens to chase down. We'll see if we can uh, beat a couple of these four-wheel drive cars, too. Four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Pretty early on, on the first stage, we actually had a spin. There was some standing water at the top of a crest. You don't see it until you come over the crest, and we tried to go around it. Uh, we shifted us sideways, and we ended up uh, trying to crack, and ended up stopping in the middle of the road. Further down that stage, there was a, a pretty sharp hairpin turn, uh, which actually was kind of a delta. There was a short way and a fast way around. Uh, we kind of overshot that, ended up taking the long way around that first time. And, Second pass through on that stage, we actually found our pace a little bit better and went through that turn pretty quickly. As the day went on, the car was feeling really great, uh, handling awesome, making great power, accelerating better than I even expected it to. We kind of just found a really good pace just throughout the day. So right as we were about to start stage five, we were hearing on the radio that the dry creek bed we had actually been driving through on stage was under like five feet of water. Apparently up north had received enough rainfall that actually like a wall of water came down the dry creek bed. This creek bed was dry when we came through earlier. pretty slippery out there. The rain started again here and it's getting real slimy. We had good grip at first, but now we gotta be extra cautious. Uh, car's doing really well, actually. Uh, feels like we didn't just really test it at LSPR, but out here it feels really good. There's not too many fast turns, a lot of tight technical stuff, but man, it's just, it's awesome. And this new dip is doing great. So the drain plug popped out at one of the water uh, crossings and there was water shooting in up all over their body plug, whatever. All I know is it's letting in a lot of water and the hole's like that big. 
and I'm soaked. I feel like I peed my pants. Except peeing your pants would be warm. So update, uh, it's starting to sleet, it's cold, it's raining, there's flooding. It's an awesome rally. We're having a good time. The roads that are left are gonna be gonna be rough. They're physically rough, but now we've got falling uh, falling sleet. It's an overall fast and technical and twisty road that you gotta learn how to drive and we're still figuring it out. So uh, it's gonna be an interesting rest of the day, but uh, that's all we can do. We think we're gonna keep gravels on, Try not to worry about it, kind of take it a little easy, you know, make sure that it's okay, but I don't think it's worth going to, to snow tires. We're switching to snow tires because as you can see, it's leading. So, um, the rally stage, I think it's gonna be a snow cone by the time we get there. Provisional results after the first six stages, we're currently sitting in fifth at a time of 37 minutes, 14.6 seconds, uh, followed in front of us is Punkit, Hell, 36 minutes, 33 seconds, and then Travis Clark at 36 minutes, 29 seconds. So, pretty close overall. Only about 40 seconds behind us. So maybe we'll try to step it up a bit here with this changing weather. Yeah, so I distinctly remember coming out of service and Kelsey telling me that we need to take it easy until we get a good feel for these tires. It only took about two turns for me to just go for it. Uh, as soon as we took off, I knew we had just immediately a lot more grip than we had uh, before the service. Even under the icy conditions, the tire change was a huge improvement over the, uh, the medium uh, compound tires we were running throughout the first half of the day. So on stage seven, we actually caught up to another competitor. They had had an off, uh, and there were actually two cars ahead of us. And we had passed their uh, bumper hanging out in the woods, and we saw them a little further down. Uh, so we pushed a little harder, caught up to them. And we were kind of in a chase scene for a while there. It was pretty cool uh, just following them, and it's always a fun situation doing that. You still have to be a bit cautious. You still have to pay attention to the road and not get caught up in it. Eventually he did uh, kind of pull off out of the way and then we get past him after tailing him for a bit and put some pressure on him. On stage eight, um, very shortly after we started the stage, there was a pretty steep uphill and we caught a rock or something and it ended up ripping a bolt out of our skid plate and also like pulling our exhaust apart. <laughs> Traditionally, we are third place overall. Overall, and that he thought you guys might have caught him. Oh, oh, I This event was incredibly successful thanks to all the organizers and volunteers. They didn't let flash flooding or freezing rain keep us from competing, and we were able to keep racing and have a fantastic weekend. Also, the location of the rally is absolutely beautiful. Echo Bluff State Park was a wonderful host for the event. We hope to see more teams out there next year.